right leg, when I'm talking about a right-handed pitcher, is your drive leg. And when it's time to leave the rubber, we extend out as far as we can. We shoot for triple extension, extension in the ankle, the knee, and the hip for one moment. We don't wanna stay there, but leaving the mound, we need to get to full extension as if you're doing a broad jump almost off the mound. So to find that, you get a little bit of momentum moving forward as the left is leaving, and then we drive off that left leg as hard as we can. I have a fun drill that I like to use. It's a falling lunge, and then we try our best to get into that pitch. It really kind of cramps you up, and it makes you have to be really aggressive with that right leg because you can feel yourself falling, and it feels like you don't have enough time. So you have to be fast, you have to be strong, and it helps you build that strength and endurance in that right leg to be really strong with it. It also keeps us from extending too early. Finding the timing of when to find the triple extension is important. That's kind of the trick, and this drill really helps with it. The left leg on a right-handed pitcher, so the one right behind the rubber, that shoots our hips underneath us, okay? So the, the right leg like gets us out there, and then the left leg keeps us out there, if that makes sense. It keeps you connected, okay? Uh, so that's the step, the, the, the leg that we are striding with and stepping with, but we have to get our hips underneath us so that we're not leading with the upper body. So I look for an active left leg. Some, some instructors might look for like a lengthened hamstring or the heel pushing down through the ground. I like to look for that. Um, I kind of call it like pushing the gas pedal. Like you want to see an active back leg off the mound when you leave. You don't want to see it be just kind of like a dead leg. Like it's not moving, it's not active, it's not doing anything. It's just taking a step. You got to really drive off the mound or off the ground to really get out there. Um, so I like to use monster walks, hip drives and heel drives off the wall to really help pitchers feel that, be activated. Some of my some of my girls have said like, this drill gives me immediate feedback. I can feel when my hips are working. I understand what it looks like for them to get underneath me. And I know when I'm in front or my leading in front of my lower half that I'm not driving as hard and I need to press more through the glutes and all of those things you gotta feel to get that leg working. But this is kind of what it looks like. Okay guys, we're focusing on the right leg, the drive leg off the mound here. And I have two examples for you. Everybody's learning. Everybody has their thing. I don't want you guys to ever think that I'm, you know, speaking bad of any pitcher. We're just using these examples to kind of show. So my first pitcher here, she does so well with her back leg, but our eyes right now, I want you to be on the front leg. Okay. Her, she's got great drive and heel drive happening, but as she gets there now watch this right leg you'll kind of see the launch angle, like when she starts to extend, right? Right here is when she's starting to extend her leg, her right leg. So she probably gets extended about there. And look how that goes up. It makes her go up. And she's not getting a lot of distance. She's not bad. It's not bad. All these things are very little, right? This is a little adjustment. This is where we're like working to get more miles per hour, more explosiveness. Um, and one thing that she can do is kind of push down with the knee, the shin, the toe, just a bit longer to get to a better launch angle that gives us a little bit more um, distance and power because that leg drives huge. So now we'll get to my next picture here. Now these are, granted, I want you guys to know, these are two pictures that are developmentally different. This is a picture in college. So she has very strong legs, works out all the time. It's like what she does, okay? But watch her right leg. So this leg right here. And as she comes through, look at that angle. Do you see how she's pushing down with that knee? You can see her shin pushing down, pushing down with that toe. And you can see she gets some made, look at that extension right there. She's, we're looking for triple extension, ankle, knee, and hip. She gets some major distance and major explosiveness behind the ball, okay? So the key is we can't extend too early. We have to kind of move through that mound. We can't, um, we can't just start extending and into our leg drive 
kind of over top. We want to fall forward. That's what our timber drills are for. That's what our drop-ins are for. You want to feel yourself drive down with the knee, but you're not actually going to hit the ground. See, she's driving down and then she really explodes out there. Um, that's what we're looking for. It's just such a good example. If you guys have questions, let me know.